function overloading means two or more function names are same but differ in number of arguments or data type of the argument debugging means after doing the testing whatever mistake we are done the correctioning of that mistake can put us debugging int add int x int y int z it means that three arguments we are taking all the three arguments of type integer only whereas here length into breadth then i can find area of a rectangle in area of a rectangle length and breadth are different welcome to one and all myself vasantha lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we will start with the first session of function overloading chapter for as in annual exam from this chapter you will get only one question in the part d that for 5 marks only one question you will get in the annual exam whereas on this chapter you will study regarding what do you mean by function overloading then what do you mean by inline function as well as friend function regarding that you will study whereas on today's class you will come to know regarding the introduction regarding function overloading then why we require this function overloading definition and declaration of function overloading then the restriction or the disadvantages on function overloading then applications of function overloading with an example program what do you mean by this function overloading why we required this in this function overloading already i told you in this chapter you will going to study three concept one is function overloading then inline function as well as friend function only one question you will get in annual exam that is on part d whereas the questions may be what do you mean by function overloading write the advantages and disadvantages otherwise what is function overloading explain with an example program in the same way what do you mean by inline function write the advantages disadvantages with a syntax or what do you mean by inline function explain with an example program in the same way in friend function also you may to get the question what is friend function write the syntax for friend function and write the features of a friend function otherwise what is friend function explain with an example program it means that in all the three that is in function overloading inline function as well as friend function in all the three you have to know the definition the syntax advantages disadvantages with that one program you have to study what do you mean by function overloading first of all function overloading means two or more function names are same but differ in number of arguments as well as sometime the different in the types of arguments function overloading means two or more function names are same but differ in number of arguments or data type of the argument what exactly it means consider i want to perform addition function consider one function add in this we have two arguments for example int comma int two arguments here we have one more function i am to take add only here i am to take arguments int comma int comma int one more function here i will take add and here int comma float one more function we are taking for example add only then here float comma float then what exactly here it says if you observe here in all the four cases the function name are same add only two or more function name are same if you observe the first case especially in the first one the function name is add here we have two arguments all the two arguments are of type integer data type if you observe the second one here also the function name is add only but here there are three arguments all the three arguments integer only if you observe the third one here once again a function name is add only but here we have two arguments one is integer and one more is float if you observe the last one here the function name is add only but here we have two arguments all the two arguments of type float it means that function overloading means two or more 
function name are same function name are same but differ in number of arguments see here with two arguments here with three arguments differ in number of arguments or data type of the argument if you observe the first second as well as in the last one first third and then last one then you observe here also two arguments in the third as well as in fourth case also we have two arguments but here both arguments are integer whereas here one is int and float if you observe the last one both arguments are float it means that function overloading means two or more function name are same but differ in number of arguments or data type of the argument two or more functions have same name but differ in the number of argument or data type of the argument usually you will get this question in viva also if you get a question especially regarding function overloading then 100% the excel will ask you are written the program on function overloading what do you mean by function overloading now why we need this function overloading first of all when different functions are created for different operation then the user has to call respective function depending upon the situation for example consider 2 plus 3 here the answer i'm going to get 5 one more thing i will write anu plus shri then the result we are going to get anu shri but if you observe here in the first case as well as in the last case here also we have plus operator here also we have plus operator but here in 2 plus 3 the result here it will to add that means 2 plus 3 the result will be 5 but if I add anu plus shri then it will not to add the values on the place of adding it will to combine the value that means depending upon the type of arguments depending upon the type of argument that particular function here it will perform see here also we have plus here also we have plus but depending upon the type of arguments depending upon the type of values we are using by that the particular function here it will to execute instead of different situation if the same function is called with a different argument using function overloading then the compiler automatically decides which program which one it has to execute the compiler itself decide which one now it has to execute by functions by comparing the arguments type user and call to the function and calls the required function depending upon the type of arguments the compiler itself decide which program which function now it has to execute for this sake we need this function overloading then when you come on advantages of function overloading it is easy to understand the flow of information as well as debug it is easy to understand the concept also already i told you 2 plus 3 is 5 anu plus shri is anu shri then here it is very easy to understand also it is easier to understand the flow of information how the data are moving that easily we can able to identify then code maintenance is also very easy here whatever code we are written that easily we can able to maintain and easier interface between program and real world object because in the exam you will get a question what is function overloading write the advantages and disadvantages on that time you have to write the definition of function overloading then the advantages when the common advantages it is easier to understand the flow of information as well as debug. What do you mean by this debug? Debug is nothing but correcting the errors. When we do the testing process, on that time, whatever mistake we have done, that can be corrected by using this debug. Whereas testing is nothing but checking whether the work, a project or a program is working as our requirement or not by taking sample data. Whereas debugging means after doing the testing, whatever mistake we have done, the correctioning of that mistake can be called as debugging. Here easy to understand as well as easy to debug as well as easy to maintain also. And it is as an interface between program and a real world object. Next when we come on the disadvantages, what is the major drawback here? If all the arguments are same data type, 
by with same number of arguments then also it will not consider as a function overloading for example i am to give the function name is add here one is int and one more is int one more function add only here int comma int if i am going to write if you observe here in both the case the function name are add only but the number of arguments is also same two two only but here if you observe the data type in both the case integer only then this function overloading will not work that is each function is a set of function overloading must have different argument list here the list whatever list we have that must should be different then only the function overloading will work then when we come on type definer if it is used if i use a type definer is used for naming function then the function is not considered as different type in two situations it will not work one if i use a type definer for naming the function then also it will not work if arguments are same data type with same number of arguments then also it will not work this is the two major disadvantages on function overloading whereas already i told you function overloading means two or more function name are same but differing number of arguments or data type of the argument then when we come on advantages here easy to understand the flow of information as well as easy to debug also maintenance also easy and here it's a easy interface between the program and real world object then when we come on disadvantages if the arguments are same data type with same number of arguments on that case also it will not work then if i use it type definer for naming the function then also it will not work properly now consider the example here consider int add int a comma int b here the result the generation here we are given as integer after doing all the calculation the result here we are representing in integer format it has to generate in integer format then two values here we are taking that is a and b both the values of type integer only here observe the example on the function call see out add the function name here we are given add in well calling also we are going to write add 2 comma 5 two values only taking for a we are given as 2 for b we are given as 5 then next int add int x int y int z it means that three arguments we are taking all the three arguments of type integer only here if you observe three arguments here i have given 6 3 8 6 will take on the place of x and a3 will take on the place of y and 8 will take on the place of z and if you observe one more function add only the result here we are declaring as double then double x double y two arguments of double data type then one more function double add double p int q whereas here if you observe in all the three four cases the function name we are given as add only in first two cases two arguments both are integer in second case three arguments all are integer in third case both the arguments are double data type whereas if you observe the fourth one one is double and one more is int now is it clear it means that function overloading means function name are same but differing number of arguments as well as data type now we'll explain with one example program because in the exam you will get a question what is function overloading explain with an example program on that case here we are writing we are written on program here ash include ioc dot h this is the supporting header file to perform scene as well as see out operation then ash include conio dot h for clear screen as well as for get ch purpose we are using this header file then the class name we are given as function overloading or function overload whatever name you want you can give but here we are declared float yes and here we are written one function in area int a here if you observe here the function name we are given as area i want to consider i want to find area of a square as well as area of a rectangle in the area of a square all the sides are equal if you observe all the sides if i am going to give a then all the side the value will be a only that is area of a square in the place of if i want to find area of a rectangle 
then length as well as breadth are different here. Length as well as breadth both are different here. For example, if I would take length L and here breadth. Then here if I want to find area of a square, then only one value I need that is A. Then the result will be A into A only. Then I can get the area of a square. If I want to find area of a rectangle, length and breadth I have to take. Then L into B we have to consider. If you observe here, only one value I need, only A. That is A into A. By that I can find area of a square. Whereas here, length into breadth. Then I can find area of a rectangle. In area of a rectangle, length and breadth are different. Here, now we are writing a program to find area only. In both the case, I am finding area only. If you observe area of a square, area of a rectangle, in both the case, I am finding area only. But while taking the argument, only one argument here I require. Whereas here, we require two arguments. One is length and one more is breadth. Now, if you observe here, int area in A. Here, the return type here we are given as integer format. It means that after calculation, the result we want to generate in integer data type. Here, what is the calculation we are given? Return A into A. Here, we are doing the calculation that is A into A we are doing. This is the return value. The return information has to be generated in integer format. If I am going to give 2, then what is the result? 2 into 2, that is 4 I am going to get. If I am going to give 3 is the area, then especially the length or breadth, any one A value, then 3 into 3 it will take, then the result I am going to get 9 here. It means that return A into A. Then here we have open on function and here we are closed. The function name we are given as area only. Here if you observe inside the bracket, only one argument we are considered. That argument can be called as A. To find area of a square, A into A. Then here we have opened the function and here we have closed the function. Now one more function I am taking, int area. If you observe here, in both the case area only. Here int length, int breadth. One integer value I took, that is length. And one more integer only I consider, that is breadth. That is length into breadth. Both the values here of this case are given integer data type only. For example, length I am going to give 2 and breadth I am going to give 3. Then what is the result I am getting? That is 2 into 3. How much? That is 2 1 is 2, 2 2 is 4, 2 3 is 6 I am getting. That means here we have two values, two arguments. These two arguments coming from the main program. The result after calculation it has to generate in integer data type. After calculation, the result here we want to get in integer data type, then the return value is length into breadth. Whereas here, if I want to find area, A into A, whereas here, length into breadth. Here one function area and here also one function area. This function here we are closing. It means that how many functions are there in this program? Two functions. Both the function name are area only and the return type is also integer only. But if you observe here in both the case, you have only one argument, that argument of type integer. If you come on the second case, here we have two arguments, one integer and one more is also integer, but one is length and one more is breadth. Here two function, area, area. Here we have opened the first function and here we have closed it. Here we have opened the first, second function and here we have closed it. Then after that, we are closing the class here. We open, we are close the class. Then in the main program, we have created one object. F is the object name. Whatever name you want, you can give for object. Here, F is the object name we are given. Then see out area of a square equals. Here, we have written area of a square inside the quotes. Then on that time, what it will do? It will display as it is. Whatever thing inside the double quotes, it will display as it is without doing any calculation. Then in the result, what we are going to get? Area of the square equals. Then here f dot area phi we are given. It means that phi is the argument. Only one argument we are written that is phi. Then that this particular function here it will go to execute. Because it contains only one argument. f dot area that is function dot 
that is object dot area that is object dot function name we are given as area then here if I want to write phi then phi into phi 25 here we are going to get phi into phi 25 now is it clear if I want to write 2 here then the result we are going to get 4 if I want to give 3 then the result we are going to get 9 but here if we are write 5 then I am going to get 5 into 5 that is 25 we are getting then once again we will write C out area of a rectangle then in the result we are going to get area of the rectangle rectangle equal here we are written end line end line is used to move the cursor to the next line then area of a rectangle equals f dot area 4 comma 3 we are given that means with the help of object f is the object object dot area your function both the function first it will consider but inside the bracket we are written 4 comma 3 it means that here the compiler will decide the function especially the functions which contains two arguments both the arguments of type integer only then automatically the compiler will execute return length into breadth then here we are given 4 and then 3 then what is the result 4 1 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 4 3 is a 12 then the result we are going to get 12 now is it clear it means that whatever result here we want that we can display here here whichever value you are given depending upon that the result here it will display it means that function overloading means two or more function name are same see if you observe here also area here also area two or more function name are same but different number of arguments or data type of the argument here only one argument here we have two arguments now is it clear for all of you it means that what do you mean by function overloading then why we need function overloading for which purpose we need function overloading then what are the advantages of function overloading as well as disadvantages of function overloading then how exactly it will work then here come to know one program regarding function overloading because in the exam you will get a questions like what is function overloading write the advantage and disadvantage for five marks otherwise what is function overloading explain with an example program on that case the program carries four marks and the definition carries one marks already i told you in this chapter you will study three concepts one is function overloading and one more is inline function and one more is rank function then on today's class you studied regarding function overloading advantages disadvantages need of function overloading with one example whereas in the next class you will come to know regarding what do you mean by inline function what is the main advantage of inline function and the disadvantage of inline function then how to write the syntax for inline function with that how to write a program by using inline function regarding that you will come to know in the next session thank you for all of you